Hi everyone, this is Flo and today I want to show you the Android Open Kong project. So I am just starting on the black just because uh, there is this LED and you can see just there my phone is not connected. Uh, so this is the maybe the only thing I have thought uh, about this custom. I'm sorry for the camera just there. Okay, uh, so this. Uh, custom ROM is just amazing. You get the Android uh, Jelly Bean version and you can just go to the settings to see that. So let's go there on settings. We get the about phone just there and we get the Android version 4.2.1 just here as you can see there. This is the last version just released two days ago. Uh, this is the Kong Bang kernel and you can see a lot of information just there. Okay, so this one is just so cool because this is just uh, 100 and maybe 40 uh, megabytes custom ROM. You don't have G apps but you know how to flash it thanks to my uh, reviews uh, for on my previous videos. And as you can see there, there is just the needed application and you have to uh, improve it with your personal application if needed. You get the browser, so let's go to uh, connect by Wi-Fi. So let's go there, Wi-Fi is here. I have to use it, just there, press there, select it. Okay, the pin code is three, four, five, six, seven, one. And you have to press uh, down, just there, connect. And we get just now the authentication and we get the connected so we can now use um, the browser. There is two different launchers, the Nova launcher and the uh, Tribution launcher. Let's go to the browser just there and you can go and see that this network is working and you can use it as you want so this is just so cool to, to do that and this is so fast as you can see there. You have the calculator, you get the calendar and the camera. Some people say to me that the camera is not uh, so cool with some glitches on different uh, networks, on different custom ROM for the Jelly Bean version and that's maybe all right but um, we are sorry and developers are sorry because you know this is not um, so easy to use the Jelly Bean version and ice cream sandwich on our HTC Desire HD are uh, still released on the Gingerbread version. So we get this camera there with uh, the focus there, the different options, the panorama mode, the camera mode, the camera mode. Uh, you get the flash, the different options for the different uh, light styles. But you can also go to the gallery and switch on different modes and different effects thanks to this button. You have all the effects needed uh, just there with different, uh, I don't know, this. Um, borders you can just crop it if needed uh, as you prefer you can just uh, apply the crop do different contrast rotate mirror lot of things this is the perfect camera okay let's continue to the launcher we get the clock this is the 4.2 clock as you can see there with the timer and uh, the chronometer you get also the downloads, email, the gallery, just there, with the albums, with location, times, people or tags, uh, as you prefer, thanks to this Jelly version. We get the messaging with this keyboard, you already know it, I think, just there. Uh, you also get the movie studio, the novel launcher, the pupil, and this one, this is the performance control. We get the phone, the settings, you can see the phone just there here with the different contacts but I have no contacts there and on performance control you can just uh, switch the different current max for your HTC Desire HD for example we can go to uh, I don't know 2 gigahertz uh, this is maybe sometimes too huge so uh, take care with that for example I just can't go back there so i have just switched the current max uh, and you can see just there but my phone is still not responding so take care with that i have to uh, remove the battery and restart the phone i hope these different uh, things are just not saved on the memory and we can just now see the boot animation on this 
Android uh, Open Kong project. So let's go. We get the Jelly Bean animation, as you already know. There we can see maybe, but the LED is no uh, turn off. We have to wait to see if it turn on later. Okay, so we get the Jelly Bean uh, boot animation just here. So take care with the performance control. There is a lot of things uh, available to do, but just uh, take care. I am not responsible for any damage on your HTC device or other devices. So performance controls. Okay, there we have just to take it to this current. Uh, we also get the current min. You can govern it with different uh, different programmed. Uh, interactive X, we can just select user space, you can just uh, set it there and switch for another one. Okay, uh, I don't really know how it works, but you can see that. You have the deadline, the row, and different things for IO scheduler. You are also set on boot, yes or no. You have the voltage settings just there with different things, you can apply the values. Uh, you get the advanced settings, the free memory, for example. You get the set on boot, the SD read ahead. You have the kernel tweaks, fast charge. Okay. Uh, you have also the dirty ratio, just there that you can switch. You have the dirty background ratio, the dirty expire anti sex, um, the dirty white box anti sex, sex for seconds. Um, you get over commit ratio and overs. You get so the time state, for example, you can see I have used uh, mine for H4% at the max and 3% at the uh, mean of its performances. We get uh, also the CPU information. If we go on the notification, status notification bar, you can just uh, unselect it and you have the different toggles. And on settings, you can see the ROM control. On the ROM control, you have the about AOKP to thanks and uh, just uh, keep a beer and buy a beer for different devs or those different devs so thanks to them you get the general user interface with custom boot animation that you can select you can disable the boot animation select the custom carrier label and switch it for example flow like that and we get it uh, the custom carrier label just there we get also the notification background there. You can select, for example, I don't know, uh, this one just taken, loading image. You have to crop it like that. You click OK, saving the picture, and you get on the notification uh, background just there. Wait, we get OK, we have to crunch it. We get, we have to wait that the notification uh, restart, and we get there the background as you can see. You have the notification count, the vibrate and expand, and other things as the status bar notification opacity, like that. Uh, we have to save it. You have to allow the uh, 180 degree rotation. Uh, it works on. Oh, so which one is it? Uh, this is auto rotate on. Okay, so this is the Nova Launcher, just once. Okay, and on Nova Launcher. You can rotate the screen, uh, I think, no, maybe not. I don't remember why, but there is something like that uh, about it. Okay, so let's go on this setting, continue on ROM control. We get the general user interface, okay. You get the lock screen. On lock screen, you can switch the text color, the lock screen battery percent to show it. You can also hide the initial page ins, minimize the lock screen challenge. You have to enable the long press to unlock also. Uh, use wide jet carousel, uh, volume wake, volume music control, allow all wide jets and allow unlimited wide jet. And you can see when you use this lock screen just there, that you can just uh, change the size just there. Press long to unlock, is that it? I don't remember which one it is, no, maybe, I don't know. You have on this lock screen also this carousel and you can add different widgets and all widgets are uh, available okay you get then the power menu you can allow different things on the power menu this one 
as you can see there, the navigation to uh, toggle bar with more just there. We get the navigation bar, you can uh, enable it and you will see there the navigation bar. Wait one second, just here you have the menu location, menu visibility also, navigation button quantity, navigation bar control. You can just switch a lot of things as the button one action and icon. You can also select for long press and for a lot of other things. With the long press, for example, just go to the recent tabs and you can just kill it. Okay, uh, no launcher there. Let's go to settings. Not there. Let's go to settings. Continue on home control. We get on the navigation bar, the different things also on the width, the height, the button glow animation, uh, the opacity also, the number of nav rings, and uh, the configure the widgets. We have the status bar also with the battery that you can switch, the battery icon style, for example, cycle mode, just there, here. You can switch it for difference like that. You also get the battery bar style, the center mirrored, and you can just uh, battery bar location on the status bar just there and you can switch it and maybe you can see that the center mirrored is just not centered. The charging animation, yes or no, the battery bar thickness just there and you can switch it. Okay, no it is and on 1 GP it's not centered, on 2 GP it's centered. Okay, maybe I get uh, something wrong, I don't know why. You can see just there that there is something wrong here about this uh, thickness. About the clock, you can also center the clock like that, switch for different colors, clock short click any actions, just there. You can switch for clock uh, clock action, just there also for the uh, date actions. You also get the signal. On the signal, you can switch the signal textile and the Wi-Fi signal textile and others. The status bar toggles, you can enable the toggles and which one you want to uh, to allow, for example, to close it, you can order it like that and you get it just there. So just like that to remove someone, some, okay, what is, okay, and you get a uh, different location for your different, uh, different toggles, okay. You can enable fast toggle also if you do uh, this is to override default behavior. I think I have shown you all the things I want about this custom home. There is also the LED, sound and vibrations, system controls. There is no profiles, um, but this is an amazing custom home. And I want to thank all the team to have worked on that. That was Flo. Continue